So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about headaches. Um, what would you do if you had a headache that would just not go away for years? Um, do you continually just take two and then call back in the morning? Um, I would certainly hope not. I surely didn't. Um, I would hope that you would do what I did, which is dig and probe um, with every medical professional you could get your hand on until you finally receive an answer. It took me eight years to get an answer to what my headaches were. Several doctors, more pain than I care to really relive, but I finally had an answer. I have something called the Chiari malformation. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Chiari and what Chiarians, that's us, um, endure, uh, what it is, how it happens, what it's like. So first off, what is a Chiari malformation? It's a malformation of the skull. Sometimes in research you'll see that it says it's a malformation of the brain. It's not. It's Your skull is malformed. It could be malformed due to um, your occipital area, which is back here, being too thick. Um, your posterior fossa, where your spine comes into the back of your head. Um, little, you can feel a dent right out here. I can't see past my hair. Um, it might be too small. You might have scoliosis. Um, there are other things that can cause um, the skull to be misshapen. This misshaped area causes what's called a herniation. Now, the herniation is what causes us all sorts of fun problems. Um, so, it, you get a, a lot of symptoms um, with everything, but I'll get into that later. There are six types of Chiari. I have what's called a Chiari malformation type 1. Um, it's not like a cancer where you start off at this particular one and then you move forward. Um, it's based on how your skull was misshapen and where your cerebellum and what part of your brain is um, coming out of your head. In a really sweet way to say it. Um, so there's Type 1, which is the most common, which includes just your cerebellum being descended. Um, there's type 1.5, which is your cerebellum and your medullary area of your brain. Um, type 2 includes your brain stem um, and portions of your actual brain being descended out of your skull. <laughs> type 3 um, is where part of the skull doesn't form so there may actually be a sac in the back of the head um, that has part of the brain in it and then there's type 4 which is where no cerebellum formed at all now how is this diagnosed well, obviously your head hurts your brains kinda hanging out the back of your head um, I would have horrible headaches if you're ever having a horrible headache do not ignore it there's a lot of good stuff up here that you need and you don't want to go running around ignoring anything that hurts. Um, so you'll get sent for an MRI if the doctor's ignoring you. If you have a headache and your doctors aren't listening to you, request an MRI. Um, it might be listed as what's called an incidental finding, which means they were looking for something else. They may have been scanning your neck for neck pain and they found the malformation up here. It's not just incidental we all would live with symptoms of having the malformation you just might not know it um, now what they're also going to do is a really good full exam a neurological exam a headache history exam um, talk to you about your family history and get a good chunk of information from you um, and the last part is how do we live I have headaches huge headaches. Um, I have headaches that paralyze me temporarily, anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. Um, no Chiarians have the same two symptoms. Um, they're all encompassing. I have weakness, dizziness, headaches, balance issues, I've lost hearing, I have depression. Um, the only way to fix it, there's not really a way to fix it, let me correct that. Um, you can try to alleviate the progression of symptoms by intervening surgically. Um, I had a piece of my skull, um, my C1 vertebrae removed. They put in a patch. Um, I'll include a link down below so you can read some more information about that. It's pretty in-depth surgery because um, it will not get better on its own. 
and there are other illnesses that can go along with it, um, like hypermobility issues, cysts in your spine, um, your spinal cord can be tethered. So you definitely want to make sure that they do an all over review. Um, so I mean, just to wrap it up, um, uh, it's called a carry malformation. It's a malformation of the skull where your cerebellum is descended into the area and crowds your spinal column. Um, the only way to fix it or to help alleviate symptoms, should I say, is surgery. Um, you have an array of medical issues that can go with it and you only get one brain so take good care of it if it's telling you it hurts listen to it because only you know what hurts up here <laughs> um, thank you for watching